Hey everybody, Tom Joy at Visionary Music Group here. Another Anatomy of a Template video, part three. Part one, I explain my full in-depth video with all my 64 ins and outs, summing mixer, analog gear, hybrid stuff. Everybody said, wow, that's a lot of stuff. How can I do it at home? So I converted that to an all-in-the-box system. So Anatomy of a Template number two explained how my system can be converted to an in-the-box system. So then the questions I got from friends were like, ah, dude, I don't have all that stuff. I don't even want to buy all those plugins. How can I do it? Can you do it simpler? So Anatomy of the Mix 3, we're going to go as simple as possible and try to do it with one stock plugin and two plugins you can purchase. So here's the plugins you can purchase. Brainworks SSL 4000E. It kills this way you make a virtual console. Valhalla Reverbs. They're awesome. The Room and the Vintage one. You get those, we can do everything else. We can use the compressors in, in Pro Tools. We can use the EQs in there. There's a compressor in the channel strip anyway. All right, cool. Let's rock on this. So what do we really need? So I'm going to move as fast as I can. So we're going to create a stereo aux track, number one. And we're going to call this Mix. OK. Now, we're going to create a stereo audio track. And this is going to be Mix Print. We're going to make those two a nice color. I'll put the Mix Print on the top. Okay, so now, this guy, the Mix, has to be the one that has the mix bus processing on it, right? I would normally put a compressor on here, an EQ, and I would also put some kind of limiter. Okay, so I'm gonna use this Pro-L compressor. So I'm kind of setting it like a limiter. I want it to be pretty fast. I want it to release pretty quick and it's going to be all compressor and the threshold will probably be somewhere barely touching but this is the limiter you know so this is supposed to keep it from going over and give us a few db of gain so for our first thing let's go for the avid pro compressor now these wouldn't be my, my first choices, but we're gonna go with the cheapy in the box. So we're gonna put this like 1.5 to one, make it barely touch, super fast release, gain make up a couple of dB, and that's that. So now we want a little bit of an EQ. So we have this guy here, You'll have this ready to dial in some stuff. And you probably want to lift some highs and do whatever you could figure that out. So that's like your basic, super basic mix bus treatment. We could delve into that a little more. Now we have to route everything, right? So we're going to have to go in here and we're going to have to take a peek at our, our buses. So let's make bus, I'm going to move this one down so we don't have to look at it. Let's make bus one and two. We'll call that mix print or mix P. We'll make the next one mix. All right, so the input of this is mix P. The output is monitor, so we're always going to hear it. Solo safing. The output of this is mix P. And the input of this is going to be mix. So everything we create after this is going to feed the mix bus, which will run it through this, this stereo mix aux. OK, so what do we need next? we are definitely going to need some sub auxiliary sub channels right so let's do aux auxes so let's look at that let's say let's put up um eight for now we can get rid of them so i created a bunch of aux submasters made them all the same color solo saved them and all their outputs go to the mix out so they're going to be processed through here Drums for the first one, percussion and loops, basses, acoustic guitars, electric guitars, keys, so on. Okay? So, what I would probably do with 
these are just put on every one of these an EQ like this if you need it. You may not need it on all of them. And then I would go back and I would put a SSL channel strip on all of them. Now this Brainworks SSL 4000E is excellent. It's a great channel strip. I've tried all of these. This is one of my favorites. And it's like on sale now for 49 bucks, depending upon when you see this. This is June 10th or 12th. Or this will probably end up out on the internet in the uh, end of June, early July. So even if it's you have to pay the whatever it is, 200 bucks, it's worth it. You'll use it. So now I got to make buses to create to have the inputs of these, right? So let's take keep our eye on these, and I'll show you a trick on how to do this fast. So we go up to I/O setup, right? So we're going to name the buses in the same order. So first we have drums, then we have percussions and percussion and loops, then basses then acoustic guitars then electric guitar one electric guitar two then we have keys one keys two lead vocal and then we have uh, background vocal all right so I grab the first one, I select shift, shift, option, and command, and they'll go down right in order. So let's take a peek. So there they go. For instance, what I would do is I would take this template, right, and I would uh, open it up or make a copy of it and call it whatever the song name is, Mix Session. And then when you have all your files cleaned up and taken care of, I would name that Mix Ready, and I would import those into this or the other way and then name it new mix session and then take all of your audio tracks and route their outputs to the appropriate subgroup. So all the drums, drum samples, whatever you did, route to the drum group. All your tambourine shakers, percussion, route to the percussion group down the road. Keep these at zero and just pull down your levels and adjust the balances and you'll be set. So what else do we need? This is we're gonna go as quickly as we can. We need effects. All right, so we're going to go stereo, and we're going to make, uh, how many do we want to make? Let's make, uh, I don't know, eight total, right? So what do we really need? Well, first thing, we have to hear them, so we're going to send them to the mix thing, so it goes through there. We're going to solo safe them, so that way when you solo the instrument, you'll be able to hear them, and let's make them a different color so we know what the heck's going on. All right, so the first one, let's call this um, Vox Verb for the vocal verb, right? Then we'll have Vox Slap. We want a slap back echo. We'll have Vox Pitch, like a pitch shifter doubler. We'll have Vox Delay, and we could do the first one an eighth, right? Vox Delay a quarter. Well, we have the obvious thing we just saw was I cannot type. <laughs> so that's, don't worry if I mix your song, it'll come out better than the typing I do. All right, if you guys want to put in the comments below any like typing tutors, please suggest. All right, so that's, that's the vocal, right? So let's make a background vocal verb. All right, so let's make a, um, uh, like a short verb for the band, right? Now, the rest of the stuff will be all for instruments. So this one will be short verb. This will be medium verb. And the next one will be long verb. All right, so we're going to need um, a couple more. So we'll, we'll duplicate that. We'll put like, I don't know. We might not need them. We'll figure it out. All right, so we're going to have, besides, we're going to need a long verb, right? All right, so we got our longer verb. Now we're gonna need a uh, ace delay. Next one will be dotted eighth delay. Next one will be 
a quarter delay. Now, why do I have more than, you know, than I already had up there? The other ones should have been fine, right? So I have delays up here because these delays are for the instruments and the other ones are for the vocals. We're going to send them back a little bit into the, into the reverb to set them back. So we want to set them in their appropriate verb. So first, let's get the bus, the I.O. set up, and then I'll, I'll show you how to do that. So that takes care of those. All right, so now let's assign those inputs. And let's double check them. Get these guys out of your way. So it's, it's shift, option, command. I missed the command button. And now we should have it. There you go. All right, so they're all in there. They're all in the right place. Now, let's start putting some things we want in there. So the other suggestion was the Valhalla verb, right? So they make great stuff. So I would pick the Valhalla vintage verb. I'd go now. I'd go plate. I wouldn't go that long. I go pretty good pre-delay because this plate's for the vocals. We want to be able to hear the vocals. And I think that's good enough for you guys. Now, slap. So I don't, I have a certain one I always use. So I don't know what they have. So we're going to start finding out. All right, well, this comes, comes with it. So we really want a tape slap. So let's use that. All right, so a tape slap would be like it's 166 or 126 so that's going to be our slap we don't need a lot of this we don't really need a lot of feedback we want 100 percent mix we don't want a lot of treble and we don't want too much bass so that that should be fine then we want a pitch shifter so let's see if we have one in here two how does that work so what i would normally use on this would be it would be like an even tied harmonizer plus and minus all right so we could use this so what we'll do is we're gonna make it 100% mix right maybe a little delay we'll, we'll unlink them and then we're gonna take the the, uh, the fine and make one plus nine Type this. Thank you. We'll unlink this and make the other one minus nine. So that's your what you would have happening with an even tide. Now we're going to go to delay. Modulation delay. We'll, we could use that. Okay, cool. So it's 100% wet. We can sync it to the tempo, right? That's great. So this first one is eighth notes. So we'll set it for eighths. And um, do they have an offset? No. Okay. Feedback, we want some on both of them. And we're good with that. So I like that. We'll just take that. We'll copy that over and make it a quarter note over here. Simple, simple, simple. A quarter note will make a little longer. I'm going to roll off the high end on, on these. I should have done that on the other. And I will do that now. And if they're a little different, that's not going to hurt anybody. It gives a little randomness to the sound of it. All right, great. So we're going to take... We're going to take the eighth note one, right? That the vocals used. And we're going to drag that down to the eighth delay for the band. And we're going to duplicate that for the dotted eighth one and add the dot on both sides. And we're going to add some depth on that because most of the dotted eighth delays had some kind of modulation on them. And then we're going to take the eighth delay and move that over for the quarter note for our band. And we'll roll off some more high end on these so they sink even back further. Okay, so now here's the trick. The band stuff, right? 
is going to go to the band's reverb. So we're going to assign that to the medium room, which we haven't set up yet, but it'll be something pretty soon. So let's just take it, keep it low, so we get a little bit of that in there. And this will push the delays back even farther. And then we're going to take the uh, pitch shift and the vocal delays, and we're going to assign them to the vocal verb. So now all our delays are set back nice in our verbs. So the other thing I, I like to do, and this can get complicated later, but if you're smart, you'll, you'll figure it out. Uh, I like to pop one of these simple EQs after my delays and my reverbs. So I can roll off more high end or low end, or I can, I can telephone stuff if I want. I can, if there's a, a mid range thing in the vocal that really makes you upset when you listen to it, it'll really bother you in the reverb. So I pop those in. Now in my template, I preset, I'll get in there and dig in and do it all before, but we're trying to motor through this for you guys. So, okay, so let's look at our background vocal verb. So chances are it could be something like, like our, our lead vocal, right? But maybe we want it to be a little different, a little shorter. So let's bring that over here and then let's make it a little bit shorter and make the pre-delay less. Okay. So it's similar, but not the same. Okay, now, short verb. Let's go back to Valhalla. There's a preset in here. It's called uh, Tile Room. Kind of reminiscent of the PCM 70 setting. Let's go for a medium room. Chamber. And we'll go long. We'll grab a concert hall. So we have our effects for everybody ready to go. So now all we have to do is to make your template life real simple. We have to give these aux submasters the option of having their reverb sends on them ready to go. So all you have to do is assign. All right, so let's go to the vocal. We'll go to the vox verb. So you're taking a guess how much you want on these, but you know, you pop it on, you turn it down. We'll go to the background vocal. Pick the background vocal verb. We'll go to the lead vocal and pick the pitch. We'll pick the slap. note just a little pick the quarter note a tiny bit less we'll pop those over here and now what we'll do is we'll shut them off so when you turn it on it doesn't hit you and confuse you so it'll be dry and all you have to do is pop them on if you feel better leaving them on leave them on and let it go. So now, what else does the background vocal need? It probably it probably could use the the same pitch shift as the lead, so that that's that's fine too. We should put the reverb on the slap. Okay, cool. So now those are set. So keyboards, keyboards are either going to have a short verb or a long verb. So what I would do is I would grab the 
uh, I'm sorry, medium verb or, or a long verb, depending upon what it is. So I would go medium, and then I'll get the, the long one. So if it's a string patch or something, you might want it to be longer. They're there, they're ready to go. Done. All right, guitars. They're all gonna probably want a room of some kind and they'll probably want the short verb. So I'm gonna put that in. And I'll put the medium verb on two of them and the long verb on one. So if you, you know if you have a guy playing his part and it's a lot of lines and things, that'll be the, the second electric guitar. And we'll add some delay to that too. So he's, you're kind of covered and ready to go. All you have to do is hit the bypass button, see what it is, see if you like it. All right, let's add the delays to this fella now. So he's going to have eighth. Dotted eighth. And he's going to have the instrumental delay on the quarter. That's it. Template ready. Long verb somehow ended up, th up there. I don't know what the long verb is about. What is this? Oh, that was a click. We don't need that. All right, so let's recap. We have a mix print track. You're going to record your mix too. What's great about this is you can punch in at any time. It's always the same length when you mark your ins and outs. Uh, if you want to remix a certain part, you punch it in. Mix aux. Mix aux. The output of the mix aux goes into the mix print. You have your two bus processing on the mix aux. The input of the mix aux comes from all the outputs here named mix, which is all your aux submasters. So then you have aux submasters for each group of instruments, and when you have your audio tracks imported in, you'll assign them to the correct aux submaster. <clears throat> These will always stay on zero, and they already have your channel strip, and if you need a more surgical EQ, they have that too. They also have all their assignments for reverbs and delays. Down here, you have all your effects. You have a Vox plate, <clears throat> pre-delay, a little longer for the vocal. Slapback echo, 166, I think we set it at. That, that gets a little verb on it, too, from the Vox verb. You have a pitch shifter, plus 9, minus 9, give you the little stereo pitch shift. Eighth note delay, quarter note delay, and those all go back into the Vox verb. You have a background vocal verb, which is a plate. It's a little different than the lead. Short verb, tile room, medium verb, it's chamber. Uh, long verb is a concert hall. Those are all for the instruments. You have an eighth note delay for the instruments, dotted eighth delay for the instruments with modulation, and a quarter note delay, excuse me, for the instruments. And they all feed back to the instrument reverb. So that was pretty good. What was that? Half hour, 15 minute to make a quickie template. So when you get your tracks ready, you import them, assign the outputs to their aux submaster, balance them there, and you're good to go. Now, <clears throat> you want to step this up a notch. What you could do is you could make some parallel compression and parallel effects. So let's make a drum parallel. So that's set to hit pretty hard. Now we need to create an input for it. So we need to add a bus. So let's do that after our verbs or delays. Just 
So now we can make that input. Drum parallel. Then we go up to our drums and we send it to drum parallel. Set it to zero and then the level you put in will affect it. If you want to do that for your percussion and loops, easy. Then you could do the same thing with the vocals if you want them to have a little bounce. I have a lot of those in my session. So there you go. That is a simple mix template built from scratch using Valhalla Verb, Brainworks SSL 4000E plugin, and stock plugins that come with Pro Tools. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a great time doing it. Hope this helps you guys and simplifies kind of my setup for you. If you have any questions and comments, please leave them below. Please subscribe and hit the like button if you dug the video. We appreciate your support. Hit the notification bell so we can let you know when we have more content and more videos like this. And feel free to let us know what direction you want to go in. I'm, I'm explaining pretty much some of my deeper mix techniques, and some folks said, oh, you got to make some simple ones. So tell me your preference. We'll be glad to hook you up. Thanks again. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Have fun mixing.